Hi, this is Dr. Dee Pasquale, and today I'm here to talk to you about the word natural. I just have to say that that term is so misleading anymore because everywhere you look, somebody's got the word natural on their product. And we as consumers really owe it to ourselves to really understand what that means. So a little example, I was actually out and about over the weekend and I decided to go to one of these whole or fresh grocery stores. And while I was there, I saw a package full of pistachio muffins. I love pistachio muffins and pistachios are so great for you. So I thought, wow, that looks wonderful. So I just immediately grabbed that up and, you know, of course, you know, bought it, bought it home. So I, the next day I bit into the muffin only to find this like neon looking artificial color in the muffin. And I thought to myself, well, that doesn't really look very natural at all. So I went on to read the ingredients and found all kinds of artificial colors and artificial chemicals and ingredients in there. So I fell for the trap. Pistachio, a fresh kind of food place, and I didn't even think to read the ingredients, just bought the product and went home. Only to find out later, I might as well suck down a high-priced latte with lots of chemicals to go along with it, just to make things worse. So what we really have to understand is that reading labels is really, really important. It really doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what store you're in, and it doesn't really matter what the label on the product says. It's really up to you to turn, the, turn over to the back, read the ingredients, and see if everything in there is really as natural as you want it. And also, the other thing is that everybody has their different idea of what's acceptable to them and what's not. And as long as that product fits your your version of what's acceptable to you, then it's fine. But it's better that you know rather than be swindled like I was. This is Dr. Dee Pasquale. Thanks for watching.